You know, not satisfied by his first 46 minute video, Ethan Klein has decided to release another 20 minute video. I guess he wants to make sure that all of the sponsors leave the platform. Now make no mistake about it, I'm on team, they're both bad. But I thought, why not actually watch it in real time and see if it's any good, see if he does anything to correct it, and uh, give you some live commentary. Transformative commentary. All right, I, is it just me or is the title kind of cringe? Like, Content Nuke and, and Nuclear Fallout. I just, I get that you couldn't name it Content Cop, but I kind of wish it was a little bit better. I'm only going to pop in and out in various sections here because it's a 20 minute video, which would mean a response video would take 40 minutes, which I'm not going to do. If in fact that video is actually good and solid, you might not even see this video. All right, so in the first two minutes of the video, uh, Ethan again brings up uh, this time Basherverse, a very well-known internet meltdown that happened and how Keemstar was only concerned about how it could possibly affect himself. Again, yes, Keemstar bad, 100% agree. He then also outlined, I think rightly in the front of the video, the good things that have come from this, and that would be the RS Glory and Gold getting a huge influx of positivity. The point that I'm trying to make is that you created a horribly toxic environment for him and everybody else with mental problems. And <laughs> then why didn't you say that? I guess maybe, uh, maybe you never really know someone's true intentions. Maybe you did not mean to spend 17 minutes insinuating that Keemstar drove him over the edge. Maybe you didn't spend already the beginning part of this video uh, insinuating that his interactions with FouseyTube and Basherverse did drive them over the edge, but also, or close to the edge. But also, maybe I need some introspective here and, uh, you know, some self reflection at maybe, you know, these people genuinely look up to Keemstar and and it really does have an effect on them. I mean, I don't really care what the man says, but maybe these people did. By the way, you have a long track record of belittling the mentally ill. As I point out, it's not just about etiquette, it's about so much more. Boogie, for example, tweeted this out after our video came out. He said, one more thing on Keemstar, yes. Yeah, okay, so he talks about uh, Boogie, uh, yes, Keemstar bad. I guess more Keemstar bad. I, I don't, I don't really like, you know, this part where he's going to read out, read out this tweet. I just, I, I, I'm not sure, you know, yes, Keemstar has said some stupidly callous things in the past, like stop being sad. Um, I remember Boogie telling me about this. Has shown himself time and time again to be toxically insensitive, belittling of, of the mentally ill. Okay. Keemstar bad. I don't disagree. And let's not forget, all of this started over you being mad that Keemstar said you kept money from a DLC. Two millionaires arguing about a little bit of money. Showing that I was harsh to FouseyTube, and he conveniently forgets this clip. He's having a mental break. There's really no question about it. Definitely. I mean, he's, he, he is bipolar, and he said that. So the dude needs help. He needs intervention, man. He needs someone who loves him and cares about him to step in which is more empathy and understanding than he has ever gotten for you in the years and years of harassment you've laid at his feet notice ah uh, ethan i don't know so the point here is that keemstar pointed out the hypocrisy that ethan was mad that keem was covering fuzi when he was having his breakdown but keem but ethan also covered it Right. You're both garbage. You're both garbage. And by the way, you should cover it. It's still news. Now, do I think you should be tweeting at them and getting them on your show and doing others? No. But by your own standards, Ethan, you did the same thing. Just because you also went on to say, well, he needs help, doesn't change that you also memed on him and that you also covered it. So I'm not sure that this makes you look great. Your entire position has been i'm i i'm all i'm only slightly better than keemstar we both shamed sponsors we both covered people at their wits end
but I'm a little bit better than Keemstar, I guess. And don't interrupt me, okay? We're not talking about someone who's all there right now, okay? He's going through a manic episode, one trillion percent. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, it could be. That this is listen, to promote his music. All I'm, I'm telling saying you. to you is, if you don't think Fousey is going through a manic episode right now, you are lost and have no understanding of what it means to be manic. Eth well. That doesn't look good for Keemstar, but again, I always knew Keemstar was a piece of garbage. Uh, so, I mean, I guess this is a good clip to further uh, denigrate uh, uh, e uh, Keemstar. But it's like, when you're already the bottom of the barrel, how much lower can you get? Hey Brandon, I just interviewed two girls that showed me proof of harassment from your cousin Anthony. Another girl told me in the interview that you and cousin Anthony assaulted her. What proof does she have? And then Keem himself was like, well, she doesn't have proof. I believe she said in the interview that there's no proof. Who said there was proof? I just interviewed two girls that showed me proof of harassment. Oh, Keem. Where did I say either one of them were guilty? Oh, I killed him. He killed him. That was a, a very tight, uh, probably seven minutes of Keem making really, really damaging claims um, that were none of them were correct. To Buskis, um, as far as I know, then these two girls that came on earlier this year, just uh, Basherverse, just yikes. And seeing it all, you know, kind of put together does compound it. See, the thing is, what does Ethan want here? Does he want Keem deplatformed? It, it feels like this is where this is going. This is feel like this is where um, you, you're living in this kind of dangerous world. Like, what are those rag newspaper, National Enquirer? But it's on YouTube. And my question is, how come, you know, like, I wonder if these people will press suit against Keem. I mean, it would certainly seem like if he made these type of, I mean, he's made these type of false allegations uh, uh, about me too, flagging a channel, not nearly as damaging as some of the other things he said. The problem is sometimes Keem is right, but when he's wrong, he's very wrong. And it's the type of wrong. It's not like I thought he was six, four, but he's actually six, five. It's like, He's either a monster, oopsie doopsie poopsie. He's actually not a mom monster. And you never really can put that toothpaste back in the tube. This, so, thus far, these past few minutes of, of the video have been good. But again, yeah, Keem bad. We know, Keem bad. But now what? Does he deserve to be demonetized? I don't know anymore. I mean, if I thought it was okay that J Station would be demon demonetized, what about Keemstar? I, I don't know. I guess my default would always be no, because as long as an audience is there, then people should be able to buy ads. And from what I can tell, um, you know, you'd have to go the route of breaking terms of service, which you could argue maybe he's done in some cases, but. He's never received any kind of community guideline backlash that I've seen. So I'm not sure what Ethan is expecting YouTube to do here. The ultimate um, the ultimate solution, I think, would be the free market just tuning out. I mean, we've seen about 30, 40,000 subscribers in the last two days disappear. I would rather see the system work out that way than see anyone on the outside get involved. All right, it looks like we're near the end here, and he finally is might address his sponsor uh, issue. Uh, so let's see here. You wet after my sponsors. If you think the YouTube community is happy with you right now, you, you got to be out of your mind. We're not happy with either one of you. I can tell you that much. You have ushered in this new era where people that have beefs on each other go after their sponsors. Like, this... By the way, Keem, you did the same thing today on tweet on Twitter. You're both garbage. This has never happened before, but it's happening now. It's happening now. I I, I got in contact with them. I'm I'm no longer with G Fuel anymore. I walked away. Because I criticized G Fuel, which nobody should go after people's sponsors if they're inhuman scum. Let me Okay, so <sighs> 
Ethan, you're wrong. No, you shouldn't ever go after their sponsors. Address this head on. I am not someone that supports going after somebody's sponsors. But you did. To try to cancel them for something bad they've said. G Fuel is as much a part of Keemstar's identity as his beard. He has it on his head in every video. He's got it on the desk in every video. It's very much a part of his identity. How am I supposed to criticize Keemstar and not address the fact that, that G Fuel is on his desk at every time? In, in, in the hurricane of destruction, there's always G Fuel sitting there on his desk. Well, I mean, you just don't. I mean, it's pretty easy, right? In a 46 minute video, you just don't. Um, I know that this is like one of the most, most like, this is another one of those unwritten YouTuber rules. Like you don't flag each other and, and you don't go after each other's earnings, uh, which is why even when I was talking about like, what do you do with Keemstar? I don't know because like, <laughs> you got to let him exist. And then you, you let sunlight be the best disinfectant. That's the only, that's the only way that I think I could truly support it. Let people leave on their own accord. Or if he's truly making false accusations, which I mean, I think we can say he has, then people should be uh, taking him to task for it in the legal system. How am I not supposed to talk about that? Is up, Troubler Nation. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Maybe the problem is Keemstar, who's so irresponsible in his coverage of, of news topics, shouldn't integrate a brand in it. If G Fuel dropped Keemstar, I would say that's very much Keemstar fault. And oh. What about your subreddit? Ethan, what about your subreddit brigading them on Twitter telling them to drop Keemstar? I mean, yes, this is the same argument that Susie Liu uses. Well, I only just flagged the videos. YouTube took them down. Like that Gokenru video that you probably, uh, wink, 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 wink. And another thing you did in this video is an absolute first for YouTube. You went after my sponsors. An absolute first, he says. Isn't that interesting? Well, Keemstar, why don't you just leave the word hypocrite out of your mouth from now on? And they are sponsored by Elgato. Yeah, you're right. You're both garbage. All this does is prove that you're both trash. Loot crate. I mean, scuff controllers and cyber power PC. It's an absolute first for YouTube. Why are these? So again, yes, Keem is full of it. Just because Keem did it, I mean, is that your argument here that that you're you're slightly you're you're the same as Keemstar? Because you yourself have made many wild accusations and never retracted them either. You yourself have covered the exact same things everyone else has, and never uh, received any of the same backlash. You two are two sides of the same poop-covered coin. That's all this boils down to. Yeah, you got him. I mean, I think. You got him. I mean, yeah, H3, H3, one. There, there's really no denying that. But you're both garbage. You're both trash for going after each other's sponsors. You're both trash for not retracting when you get things incorrect. It's not that hard to do. I've had things incorrect several times in my life and gone back and corrected them. It's really not difficult. Your viewers will actually respect you a lot more when you do so. People get things wrong. But you two, two multimillionaires are the only two that are going to walk away from this totally fine as the rest of the YouTube landscape will now have to deal with how sponsors are far more reticent to ever back anyone ever again. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.